We've always been told that tilting your panels is best because you bring in so much extra power. And we've always responded with, it sounds dangerous jumping up on the roof that much, and we move so fast, what if we forget to take them down before we leave camp? Exactly, so we always thought, eh, hey, we'll just throw an extra panel up there and that will compensate for the extra power. Yeah, and with this new RV, we decided, why not try out a tilting kit? It's not like we have to use it. No, so we thought we would show you how we tilt our panels and just how much power it actually brings in. That's extra. We're just outside Joshua Tree National Park and it's mid-January, so the winter sun is still low on the horizon. And this is when we get the most benefit from tilting our panels. While Jason's up on the roof tilting the panels, we're gonna be in here paying attention to the numbers so we can see how much more power is coming in with each panel that's tilted. And we're paying attention to this little number that says output 37 amps. So 37 amps is how much we're bringing in right now with all of the panels flat. So let's see what happens. Okay, tilt the first panel. We have all of our panels here on the left-hand side, so we're faced almost perfectly west, so we can tilt our panels. And this is as basic of a tilting kit as you can get, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of a pain in the butt to use. It's just these two screws with wing nuts and these two bars. Uh, I'll show you how it works. It's real basic. You don't want to lose those. <laughs> That's it, solid. Okay, first one's up. Okay, we're still at 37. Okay, second one's up. Okay, we're at 36 amps. Okay, third one's up. Still at 37 amps. Okay, fourth one's up. We're at 38 amps. For a second I thought we were gonna not have a very good result because usually we plop those up and with each panel that comes up you watch those numbers change but I think because we waited till a little later in the afternoon Jason was actually shading some of the panels as he was putting them up which is why we didn't get to our like big fantastic number until the very end but to go from 36 37 amps to 51 pretty awesome with tilting, there's obviously the benefit of more power, but there's a few things I got that I didn't expect. Like when I tilt my panels, I can see underneath where the panels are, meaning I can double check and inspect that my waterproofing looks okay, none of the screws have come out, all that kind of stuff, that's nice. Another thing is when you get a little bit of a breeze, it keeps the panels cooler, and I feel like we get more power because of it. Yeah, so do we think it's worth it to tilt your panels? 100%, definitely. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's still a pain in the butt to come up here and tilt them. Maybe yep. one day we'll have an automatic button, but... No, just go... Yeah. But until then, you know, if it's only a couple of days, we're not going to bother. But no. if we're staying at least for three days or more... If you want to know more about tilting, we have details. We have all of our solar equipment listed on our website. On the post You can click goes over. with this video. Yeah. <laughs> And other than that, that's it. I think we'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, our next video. Yes. Ooh. Oh, it's a big <laughs> one. Can you run the AC off of solar and battery power? Yep. That's of, the next test. One of our biggest questions. So that's the next video we're shooting. See you then. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Should have brought a drink up here. Yeah. I know. It's warm. I could use a soda. It's actually, lounge chair right uh -huh. here. <laughs> get a tan. You have your own solar panels? Yeah, charge me up.